hello family welcome back to my youtube channel the under fxp university make sure you subscribe and like this video and of course you know what it is you know the vibes man i'm quite busy sana this 2023 i was so busy covered by elite members the website the podcast my family businesses my personal businesses and other stuff guys I'm fed up this year. Now I have to make it happen for this coming year which is 2024 and I'll be with you guys here on YouTube. We'll be dropping some analysis, we'll be dropping some live, we'll be dropping some giveaway. So make sure you stick around, make sure you subscribe to this channel, make sure you like the videos and you'll see some actual improvements in even the changes starting from next year i'll be updating each and every single aspect of uh, video that i'll be dropping so you have to stay along guys it's going to be exciting i don't know if you're excited for it yeah! guys make sure you also follow my podcast and like now it's actually nandan takupuna like uh, maybe 20 episodes right now but make sure you follow them because i'll be I i'm also dropping even making some interviews the other TZ traders, so you have to stick around, guys. But without wasting of time, let's jump into today's analysis. So today's analysis is to analyze DXY, to analyze the fundamental reports that we also covered last week, which is NFP, and of course the pair that I was we were trading with the right members, which is Go, GU, EU, and all those. But as well, this week we have what we call the uh, the upcoming week we have FOMC, we have CPI. I'll recover them and see what may happen. So welcome back and let's jump into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe this week because it's going to get more engagement with other uh, other subscribers. So let's get it. Yeah. So this is uh NFP. Remember last week? Um, this week we had uh NFP. So literally NFP, these are fundamental and uh, uh, fundamental news which are being released day each and every single uh, first Friday of the new month, and always this data they are always affecting what you call uh USD pay. Now when I talk of the USD pay, literally, yeah, it's just because the when the USD is affected because the secondary pay or the secondary currency, all of the pays which are bearing USD they will be affected, all right? So this data always high impact in news and usually when they are being released, the, uh, the market is always going crazy. You'll see volatility in the market right now. If you have not pre prepared or if you don't know how to even to deal with them or if you don't know how to trade them, you are going to lose money or you are going to go uh, a little bit crazy or nervous if you don't know how to deal with them, right? But uh, the store short. To make this all short, right? Uh, last week we had the uh, NFP data report, and we are always having the previous data, and we always having the forecasted data and the actual data you see on the screen right here. Now the previous one is always the previous one is always for uh, the previous month. So for example, these are uh, data of the of October, and uh, these are forecasted data of the uh, the month of November. Right now it's this symbol, right? So this forecast, uh, forecasted data, as you can see, these are actual data or actual total number of people who have been employed outside agriculture sector to the month of November as we are entering the December. So the forecast here, as you can see, this began, this number here is 150k and this one here is 19k. So basically we call this as uh, higher than expected, which means we have more people who have been employed as we we as we we did not expect it we did not expect this num number now it's greater than expected literally we are going to see the strength on the u.s dollar because there are more people who are being employed literally they are being also paid wages now to the amount of the fact that uh, more people are being employed literally we have to see even the earnings yeah uh, the earnings number they're also going high because People, more people are being employed now they're getting paid literally you have to see even their consumption behavior is also changing because they have more money so the notion here is one thing once we have more people are being employed literally we have to see even the bank are also triggered to increase interest rates so that they can decrease the actual number of money that is in the circulation now this is to the side of monetary policy that we have to have to speak about that because it's so deep and if you want to know more about the fundamentals i think you have to um to get my course or you have to join the ai members 
now so the thing is here uh what i have to show you that this week or the upcoming week we'll be having let me check real quick we'll be having uh, fomc now uh, let, let me grab yes to talk on a fomc uh now fomc talk um let me check real quick yeah this is monday on uh they say by 11th we'll be having the cpi and then after cpi we'll be having fomc so cpi means uh meaning the consumer price index this consumer price index is always measuring the behavior of consumers now once the this data coming out the all the to the side of monetary policy the bank or the central bank they want to know what are behaviors that we have to know so that so for them to know how they can control the money in this equation all right so the thing is once we have the positive nfp or non-farm employment chain we also expecting to have the positive consumer price index because if we have more people are being paid or being employed this way we have to see their consumption also uh, behaving uh, yeah, positively which means they're getting paid so they have to consume more this is the side of the economics now <laughs> of the economics it's like what i'm saying here uh, uh, i think by this upcoming week i'll be expecting for the us dollar uh, or for the uh, cpi data to come up with the positive which means uh if i compare the previous one with the actual one that we are also waiting i have to say the positive but this is the matter for prediction i'm just predicting based on the non-farm employment check but more bear this in mind i'm not a financial advisor make sure you also have your own uh, knowledge to add up you can also make your own research before they uh, are receiving this positivity so that you can deal with them okay but we also have the other way that we can deal with the uh, fi cpi in in this way the cpi has to go directly positive uh, positively with the technical analysis that what we were expecting on the nfp now what we are we are expecting on the nfp for example i have my members here let me show you i have my members here we are we are we were expecting the um the projection of uh you can see it. this is uh this is uh the card we're expecting the positive view on the on the us dollar based on the nfp data so this is the reason why we are we are looking for for sales to the pairs that they are paying usd including gu including eu including uh gold that we had a massive which had a massive drop now yeah this was gold so the thing is um once we have the positive one of like i said we are also expecting the positive cpi but bear this in mind make sure that what you played you are you are predicting on to the side of nfp it has to be directly um uh corresponding with the technical analysis that's what i have to to know that but the other thing is ne uh these fundamental reports they are not always they're not always sometimes in our favor we can predict that it's going to to the negative and then the, when the dark data comes up then it comes up into the negative or equals to the um that late that we did uh, expecting last time so you have to put that in your mind kabla audiafanya predictions ako make sure because babu is in actual data ambazo kila mtu anakuwa pa nasubili kila mtu anakuwa nasubili as you know all right so what i'm saying is once we have the previous data we are also each and every single trader even the investor we are always waiting to see the actual one so once the actual one is, uh, is in press then you take action okay but these are just the forecast so to the kind of account i expect it may be positive then it comes up with negative so you have to put that in your mind and that's why there's a reason why behind you have to do your own research as well okay so with that wasted your time let's see technicals now now to the side of technical this is dxy guys when i say dxy I mean, it's right we are it's a currency which represent the strength of us dollar so this is dollar index which is the pay that represents the usd currency all right so i'll show you the technical analysis here my view uh starting from the monthly to the lower time frame so let's start with the monthly now from the monthly basis what i see on uh on dxy now i can zoom it out so that you can see what i see i can delete this right here yes you see from the 
from the monthly review we had this structure literally we had a down push market structure from uh, it was 2022 since 2022 we tap this monthly you can see this is my monthly level right here now because this is my monthly level i have to look up how price will be reacting toward this monthly level this is a monthly level this is a monthly level this is a weekly level and this is my monthly level this is a weekly level as you can see right there now that uh the thing is once the market rejects this month level i know how price will be rejecting because these are attractive points which means once the market rejects this point which is the monthly because the actual price monthly i mean the level that price will be attracted to tap all right so we rejected this monthly level and we tap this monthly level you can see even the price once we got this this acted as a correction and we almost tap the other monthly level to repray uh to which made the correction almost 50 percent of this total move you can see this is almost 50 percent this is our our zone which is along the equilibrium point despite the fact that sometimes because it's a monthly level i do not even look to the um to this zone sometimes because it's a monthly level now this that that's a long view right so what i i expected that once we reject this monthly level this is a reversal candle we got this strong push you can see this push is quite very strong now what i'm saying right now because we rejected this i expected price to make this correction until this point here this is what i expected and of course that's what is happening right now you'll see in the lower time frames now on the weekly this is what i was saying now let me do this you can do it with channel now i want to buy um now if uh, this point here I marked it as a weekly point and I marked it as a weekly point because it's a point where we got the origin break of structure in the weekly basis as you can see this is a break of structure once we rejected this month level we got a break structure here and we got a simple correction which you will see it in the lower time frame but once I <laughs> zoom it out from the weekly you'll see that along this point I'm on my mark is where we got the origin break loss the structure now i did expect that since we rejected the other point which is this one here you see we got this break uh rejection with this reversal candle or noise corner like uh, the weekly candle that closed the inside the nfp week we closed with a strong volume of buyers now we have to zoom it out once the market opens because there will be a point once we will be a breakage of this uh level here the reason behind is from the rejection of this we break uh, this is a break of structure you will see that this and the market imbalance that happened during uh during the previous three weeks if not two weeks yes this is actual market breakage of structure let me see now this is a break of structure you can see even how price reacted once we got a break of structure we have this strong market imbalance now this market imbalance they are always reacting in a way to give you the view of how price will be reacting inside this zone now this market imbalance once we have the market imbalance literally we expect it to have what you call fair value gap you can see this is what we call the fair value gap so this gap literally means that inability to own a price it can cover is zone inside this one it can even cover at least maybe 50 percent of it or 75 percent of it but depends with the time frame as well sometimes can even cover with 25 percent you have to know the structure of the actual pair that you are trading all right so i would be expecting maybe the price to reach up this zone here and even at least to show me signs where i'll be looking for price to reject and continue with it push toward the downside because that's what i was expecting from the higher time frame remember from the higher time frame we saw that this is a correction so that we can continue with the general push toward the downside now what do you see on the four hours now on the four hour basis this is what i will be expecting now because i'm right here at this zone i'll be expecting because we already have uh, what you call this lower remember the structure until the market changes the direction, you must have the swing high, swing low, swing highs and swing lows, or high, 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 low, whatever that you are trading. 
because you can see we have this low here now i'm expecting like uh, maybe the price will be rejecting yes back to it now as i was saying literally we have the supplies breaking this entire entire high this is what i was expecting because they can see this the structure is likely like uh we got this high here and we have this high here but before this breakage of the high you see that we have we got this uh let me read this um but this is structure wise guys we got this higher and we have this low so literally after surpassing this entire high we got a new high and the high is kind of like Ilian de la will expect this this low and literally you can see is where we literally got the liquidation of the bias it's the actual point where we got the liquidation of bias and this one here market kept on respecting so literally i will see that before even price to to black here i will see the the rejection from this point so it can even happen like uh maybe price to be like this before continuing with this or whatever now i love to see how price will be reacting inside this point or if it happens that maybe price rejects this point now i will keep on my eye along this point maybe price may may be rejecting i don't know and then i have to see how price will be telling me but the thing is you have to keep your eyes on in a price price action because price action is a king once you know the price action then everything will be simple to you but this is what i'm expecting there this is my expectation on it so and uh, this will be happening uh, before this and even it can even happen maybe during cpi whatever but be, as market will be opening you will see price rejecting this point maybe collect itself to get to get that momentum so that we can continue with this all right because my 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 anticipation is all on usd to gain strength this, that's my anticipation so this is what I, I was saying now remember once you know what the how the x will be maybe it will be reacting or technical wise it will be simple for you to know other pairs which are paired in the usd now bear in mind i'm always trading the usd pairs including the gold now as you can see from the gold this is what i was we are trading during the nfp guys and uh, this is uh monthly wise you can see these are my monthly levels that i'm always marking now from the monthly level this way the fact monthly level gold is not yet closed but you can see we have this strong rejection or the some may call it a fake out by because the monthly is not yet closed we can call we cannot call it fake out but on the weekly this is a fake out you can see because this candle is already closed now what i was saying like uh, before price pushing low toward this monthly level from this point which is the monthly level i have to see the other price movement at least uh, collecting itself so that it can complete this structure so what we are predict uh, we have projected on dxy we can also see it on us uh, on gold price to reject in this manner price may reject this point in this manner so that we can have a simple correction so that we can continue with the push toward the downside because on gold i'm literally had on on buyers now i can see that uh, maybe the bulls i mean sorry on the sellers sellers are a little deep in this market movement now what i can see now on the four hours basis this is what you can see this was a uh, fundamental news which was nfp we traded it i went to where uh, from this point so i don't know your side i will be viewing the call but this is what i can project that we are still on the push toward the downside you have to find out how price will be rejecting inside the uh, price price action wise so that you can be maybe good for you or favorable for you to trade it all right the other place uh is eu now now i was viewing the eu as well because your usd gbpsc all these pairs are always into call uh they're always having the correlation 
move which is euro usd gbp usd as well so as i'm always thinking the dxy i'm also having the view on yellow usd so you can do your analysis as well and see how price will be um will be will be telling you so that you can take your actions all right so this is euro usd you zoom it out you are on your own you can also zoom out zoom out uh, gu as well whatever okay so this is my analysis for today guys and of course don't forget to like and subscribe and also you can also share you, your thoughts in the comment section and i will be glad to hear from you as well thank you and have a nice trading week